Hit him with the announcer voice, Brian. Okay. These are the five unexpected results of switching to a whole food plant-based diet. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Brian. <laughs> You're still doing the announcer voice. I'm still doing the announcer voice. <laughs> I'm Jessica. We will be discussing a topic today that I actually now think I'm is crying interesting. And we haven't even started yet. Uh, well, at least it's not sad crying. Mm. It's, you know, happy, jeer, uh, tearful of joy in this. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing All I right. just made up. All right. So today we will be talking about something that kind of came about from us sitting around and just chatting about how our lives have changed over the last year. Yeah, so we wanted to talk about five unexpected results that we've seen since switching to a whole food plant-based diet. So obviously there were a lot of things that we expected as mm -hmm. you know, we expected to lose weight. Well, we hope to lose weight because yeah. that was our whole goal from the beginning. But there's a lot of things that have come along along the way that we didn't quite expect. So we just wanted to share a few of those with you. Yeah, so let's quit delaying it and let's just jump right into our list. So the first thing that was an unexpected change for us is the fact that our energy levels are most certainly higher. Uh, back when I was super fat, I, I always thought that my energy level was pretty good. You know, I was able to move around, I was mobile, uh, I got plenty of sleep and I was always well rested. Yeah, he always called himself a high functioning fat person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I was 500 something pounds and still able to function in this world. Yes. Without a cane, at least. Uh, and, you know, after switching to our whole food plant based diet, our energy level went up. Not like instantly, obviously, but as the weight started to come off and we started getting, you know, better with our nutrition and stuff like that, our energy levels just kept going up and up and up. And now I sleep less, but I sleep better and I like function extremely well throughout the day. I'm always like getting up and moving around more now. It's like, it's night and day uh, between back when I was super fat and to where I am now. The next thing that we've noticed is our taste buds have changed mm -hmm. and that was kind of unexpected. Um, There's certain things that throughout the journey that we've kept trying like things that we previously hated and would never want to eat that we keep trying just because it's kind of exciting to find new things that we like. Um, for me, fruit has been a, like a lot of different fruits have been a big thing. Um, strawberries are something that I hated before. I absolutely couldn't stand. Um, I couldn't stand oranges before, like even those little mandarin oranges. Um, and both of those I love now. Mm -hmm. um, I hadn't actually eaten other than like peaches in those little containers, you know, <laughs> those little containers. I had, I actually ate. Packed in syrup. I actually ate a fresh um, peach for the first time, like eating it like an apple kind of way instead of like just slicing it up for the first time last week. I know this sounds really weird, but it was just so tasty and I never, that's something that I never really enjoyed before. Yeah, yeah. For me though, uh, the one thing I actually really enjoy eating now is just raw broccoli. Uh, I was actually talking to my mom about it and about how tastes change over time, literally while I was eating raw <laughs> broccoli and I was like, this is a perfect example. It's like, I never would eat this before, at least not without dipping it in like ranch dressing or something. I mean, yeah, I still will dip raw broccoli into like our hummus or, yeah. you know, something like that, but I'll just eat that stuff straight now. Like, yeah. and uh, another thing though is tofu. Mm -hmm. Never would have like used tofu before. And then all of a sudden here we are now a year later and like I'm cooking with it, you know, at least once a week. Yeah. And we love that stuff. Yeah. It's amazing how when you take away all the extra stuff that you're constantly like, you know, extra salt and sugar and oil and all that, you can actually taste the flavors of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of things that have been unexpectedly tasty to us now that we didn't like before. Yep. And then there's other things that are not so tasty still. I still don't like avocado. I try. It's one of those things that I, when he's having some, I'll just sample a little bit just to see because I'm hoping one of these days I'm going to just taste it and be like, you know what? I like that. But it's still not quite there to me yet. The other thing that I still hate to this day is cucumber. I oh. still can't stand cucumber. I don't know why. It's just got a weird flavor and I still just don't like it. 
But yeah, if, if you are on a similar journey, let us know below if there's things that you didn't like before that you do now, because I always find that really interesting. So the next thing that was unexpected kind of ties into the last one, and that is we now have a much greater appreciation for food. Yeah, so I kind of had a little epiphany the other day when I was out to a meal with a bunch of people, and I was looking at all their dishes, and they just looked, you know, like tasty things that I would have eaten in my past, like cheesy, greasy, just they looked delicious. But it was interesting hearing the people talk about the dishes they were eating because they were kind of just like, meh, it's okay, like it's not great, it's whatever. But here I was with my like, as close to whole food plant-based as I could get um, dish that I had gotten. And it was like amazing to me. It tasted super good to me. And it was just simple ingredients thrown together in a simple way, but it tasted super delicious to me. And so it's, it's interesting once you stop, like um, I guess overwhelming your, your taste buds with all the extra salt, sugar, mm -hmm. oil, everything, it's like, the simple flavors that taste good to you. Even if you get something that's slightly outside of the, the whole food plant-based realm and may have like a little bit too much salt or whatever, the appreciation you're able to have for that you know small amount of salt versus not having it at all um, is just kind of amazing to me. And it, it just, it really made me stop and think, you know, I was sitting there and it was nice that I was able to appreciate that meal for what it was, where I feel like before I was kind of like all the other people at the table who were just like, oh, it's okay, you know, I'm just eating it, I'm shoveling it in my mouth and it's, eh, it's not that great. I was able to just enjoy it and appreciate it for what it was and it just kind of amazed me. I agree. So one other completely unexpected thing, and I didn't even realize it until actually just a couple weeks ago, we don't get sick as anywhere yeah. near as much as we used to. No, we used to get like, you know, the occasional cold from time to time. Um, there was even one time where Brian got like a really bad cold. The one time I think you got sick in the last like year. Yeah. And I got it, but like the symptoms were not bad for me at all. Like I was over it really quickly. So even when we have gotten sick, I feel like we, our bodies are better able to fight it. Yeah. Um, the other thing for me that's been weird, and I was just mentioning this earlier to Brian, is I feel like I haven't had any issues with allergies this year. Um, I used to have like, you know, just like congestion, sneezing. I was taking allergy pills every single day mm -hmm. um, last year. And I feel like I really haven't been affected by that this year at all, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, for me though, like I never really had allergies uh, that were super bad, but even now, like the, the, the few times when I would have some kind of symptom, like I'm not affected by it at all. But the one thing I do appreciate, I've always had trouble with my ears, I used to always get ear infections like constantly to the mm -hmm. point where I actually hear less on this side uh, than I do on this side now. And, uh, but since I don't get sick like anywhere near as much as I used to, like I don't have those problems. And even the last time when I did actually get a cold, I didn't get an ear infection for like the first time in like a very, very long time. And that has been absolutely amazing. And once again, Completely unexpected. I didn't realize it until just a couple weeks ago and it, it kind of blew my mind a little. And the last thing that we've noticed that's unexpected is that we can eat a ton of food and still lose weight, which is awesome. Yes. Uh, when we first got started, I was like, what, like, okay, we're gonna be eating large salads like every night. And like, that's just, just crazy. Like how in the world can anybody eat this much? And then like we got into it and we were eating that much. And then not only that, we started eating more. So yeah. we started eating, you know, giant bowls of soup and a massive amount of fruit and our giant salads. And it's just like all this stuff, this just massive amount of food <laughs> that we eat every day. We were talking about the other day how your lunchbox is so heavy now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like twice as heavy as it used to be. Uh, but that's kind of the amazing part is that like we eat all of this food and yet we conversely then have more energy, mm -hmm. we lose weight, and like our, our lives are just completely and all around better. Yeah. And we're just eating giant amounts of food. Yeah. yeah, so it's been really cool. A lot of things we've done in the past, like calorie counting and restricting, 
it just it it never worked for us because we you know we're just eating these small quantities. Like Brian does not do with small quantities. I do not like, do small not quantities. Do small quantities. Um, and so it you kind of have to figure out like a balance of like when you're full and you don't need to eat anymore. You just kind of know. It's just nice because it's like we can eat a ton of food, but we still lose weight. Naturally, over time, you just kind of figure out like how much you can eat. And so people ask us a lot about portion sizes and stuff like that. And we just don't worry about that stuff because we just, we don't eat until we feel like overwhelmingly, oh my gosh, I'm so full. Mm -hmm. um, we just eat until we feel satisfied and then we're done. Um, but it's, it's because we switched to a whole food plant-based diet, these foods that we're eating are so like, what is it? Less calorie dense. Yes. Um, and that's why we're able to eat such a massive quantity, but I have to admit, I was skeptical Me when too. we first started. I was like, there's no way we're going to lose weight eating this much stuff. <laughs> yeah. But to also answer all of those questions that we have gotten uh, over the last few months, yes, that is a lot of bananas. And yes, <laughs> we do eat all of those. We it, we eat a lot of bananas. Like we, I eat like one a day. You eat like two a day, two, maybe. maybe three sometimes. Um, and we also, when we have, it's nice to have a bunch on hand though, because then we freeze it and make our nice cream or like any other yes. kind of smoothies and stuff like that. So. We do eat a lot of bananas though. Yes. <laughs> But I think that's pretty much it. That's all. I think well, we, we've gone through all five. I kind of wanted to do another bonus one here, though. Uh, and it's, it's something that I did not expect whatsoever when we switched to our whole food plant-based diet. Uh, and I didn't expect any of this to happen. And that was we started a YouTube channel. Oh, that's not where I thought you were going. I thought you were going to talk about our bony butts. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to save that for a, a different video. As we sit here uncomfortably on these stools. <laughs> no, but we, we started the, this YouTube channel and we had no idea that it was going to grow as fast as it has. We had no idea that we were going to get the reaction that we got, the outpouring of yeah. love and support from, uh, from viewers who are watching this video right yeah. now. The community of people who are either following a whole food plant-based diet or who want to follow a whole food plant-based diet, you guys have been some of the most incredible people mm -hmm. that I've had a chance to interact with. And I love, you know, having this opportunity to interact with you guys and learn from you. And the fact that you guys say you're learning from us, which just blows my mind away because yeah. I'm like, we're just two people doing this. We're just like tr fighting the good fight. Yeah. <laughs> But thanks to you guys, uh, as of today, we hit 1 million views on our channel. Oh, yeah. And that is insane, mind boggling. And uh, <laughs> it's great because I was actually walking through the office and one of my coworkers was like, hey, congratulations. And I was like, on what? And he goes, you hit a million views today. And I was like, what? I did? <laughs> and he, he explained it to me and I looked it up and uh, lo and behold, yeah, we had hit a million views. And I kind of walked off and I was, I was going to heat up my lunch. And then I had this moment of just like, Holy cow, <laughs> our stuff has been watched a million times. That's crazy. The, and I don't know how to process that <laughs> at all. But thank you so yes. much to everyone who has, has subscribed. And if you were just watching this now, please subscribe and click the bell notification that is next to it. And you can get all of the updates for whenever we do post a video. And thank you to everyone who has also followed us on all of our social media mm -hmm. stuff, especially Instagram. That's grown like yeah. crazy. And all of you people out there who are posting the pictures of the recipes uh, of ours that you've made, like, it's so just awesome to me that you yeah. guys are doing that. And I absolutely love it. So that has been completely unexpected. I did not see this one coming yeah. whatsoever. No. Mm -mm. But I think that's all I got. That's all I got. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye-bye.